Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Factorio Space Age gameplay. Pretty excited, uh, because we are going to be working on the orange science packs today, our Vulcanist science, because we've kind of got all the basics automated now. Now things are running, we got more drills set up down here. Mining the tungsten. Still working on making enough solar panels and accumulators to keep everything running, but that's catching up slowly. I did remember we can make those and substations uh, in electromagnetic plants, so that makes things a bit cheaper. And we're building up on circuits here, up to 3,000. Red circuits are still not getting done, I guess, but... Yeah, we're getting things done. So that's all good, fine and dandy. How do we get... I also started some researches just to keep kind of working through things on Nalvis. Um, I'm guessing, let's see. I'm guessing we have a lot of science built up on Fulgora. What's happening here on Fulgora? Oh my God, steel plates. Ooh. That's bad. 24,000 steel, huh? Um, so this is my emergency get rid of stuff loop. I guess steel needs to be included. So if steel is greater than 20,000, we need to trash that. I, also, you can just pipette that and bring it over here, which is nice. Okay, so we'll get rid of some steel here. Probably need more. What are these called? Cyclers. But uh, the thing I was coming over here to look at, oh my gosh, we actually have enough holmium for once. That's weird to see. Uh, but yeah, we have a lot of science, so that's good. Why are they stopped? I'm out of accumulators? Why am I out of accumulators? Oh, are we... At... Yep, we are. Uncommons only. Now there's an interesting problem. Um... So I actually need just regular accumulator making. That's so interesting. Is 0.3 a second fast enough? Or 0.49? Is that fast enough to keep these running? No, I need two of those running. Um, Okay. Well, I'm glad we spotted that, otherwise science really would have been stopped. But yeah, so the Hendrickson is all fine and dandy. Um, do we need, do we need more space? We might need more space. Let's... Expand a little bit here. And... I do feel like we can make this better. But... Uh, we're out of cargo bays, too. Cargo bays... We'll request some of those. And then we will work on... Oh, we just got all the uncommon solar panels. Nice, okay. Well, that should be enough storage for all the stuff we have. So we will now go to Fulgora to go get more pink science. 
And then I want to go to Nalvis and set up... I want to build a new space platform. Which... I need a special requester chest. And a special... Inserter. And we will request the starter pack. said this is the SS Derpamu. Oh, automatic request. I don't need that. You can rec you can create one and it will automatically send one up. Oh, that's nice. Okay. You don't have to manually feed it the starter pack. So the SS Derpamu is now in space. Let's take our Hendrickson design. Uh, we'll save that. Create a blueprint. Paste it. And that's gonna take like a million years to finish. Um, and what we are going to want to do is we're going to want to redesign a couple pieces. So I'm going to take out this section of panels and we're going to redesign the engines to be a little more streamlined, I think, and maybe down a little bit, probably put more panels in this area. And then we're gonna wanna redesign this area to be a little bit more friendly to recycling of stuff. So maybe I move, maybe I move all of this over by like two tiles, maybe three tiles wider. can have a couple more turrets here. I just want to give Nauvis something to work on for a while. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll just we'll just make the whole thing a little bigger here. And that should give me some more space to work with. To redesign this kind of scrap asteroid scrap reprocessing because it's got auto request for production or construction set so it should be requesting all these things over time um it might take a while to finish but that'll keep Nova's busy so that's good Alright, so I'm going to ignore that now for a while, and let's focus on <sighs> orange science, which we need to make tungsten plates first. So tungsten plate is a mixture of tungsten ore and iron. It's actually kind of expensive. It's four tungsten ore and basically one iron plate's worth. So we're going to need more molten iron. This, I'm gonna need a second molten iron maker. This is such a mess. Oh my god. Um, but it's going to work. Um, so there's the calcite, there's the lava. There's 
me getting rid of the stone. And there's more of a molten iron supply. Checkmate. There's 93.7 more iron. Oh wow, these are really slow. By default. These only need four molten iron a second. Okay. So even with some speed here, they only need ten molten iron a piece and four ore a second. There's our tungsten. Maybe we'll use long inserters. That. Okay. Easy peasy. So that gets us our metallurgic science pack. And those are made also in a foundry. A mixture of tungsten carbide, molten copper, and tungsten plate. And if I want two per second, then I literally only need one of these, maybe two, with prod modules, with like a single speed beacon. Maybe, maybe I'll need two speed beacons. How many bacon's are we talking? Copper. Uh, okay, so does that do it? I have to power it up for it to tell me. Almost. No, that completely does it. Oh wow. More than enough. Okay. The point where I can switch for some efficiency here. Nice. Save some power while we're at it. Okay, there we go. So that's more than good enough. We will need 250 copper per second. That's a lot. Molten copper per second. Uh, this guy is only making 93.7. 93.7, the lava. It's like a radio station. Um, Frickin' cliffs. The reason I want to get this done so soon is to get cliff explosives. And then we can redesign some things to be a little less obnoxious. Okay. Get that done. Lava's not hooked up. What happened to my lava? Um, I don't actually know. Oh, this is just too far? Oh, I see. You just ran yourself over with a train? Congratulations! You've gotten the achievement. <laughs> it's like, it's like normally being hit by a train only more humiliating because you ordered it. Yes, it, there is some humiliation factor to that. Okay, so we've got all the molten copper, and now we need to bring the molten copper over. Like so. There we go. And then... We're gonna need some serious... Tungsten carbide action. Or tungsten plate. What do these go in? Ah, the new turbo belts! Now there's... Uh, something I don't know if I like, actually. The turbo belts themselves can only be made here, on Vulcanus. I don't mind the tungsten plate. Oh, that's even weirder. The tungsten steel... Wait, tungsten steel? What is it? Tungsten steel or tungsten plate? Um, the tungsten plate can be made anywhere. But the turbo belt itself can only be made on... Vulcanus. And artillery can only be made... No, sorry. You just need tungsten plate for artillery. 
It would be nice if there was a way to easily see. There it is. You can. Okay. I was like, what are the exclusive things that we can only make here? So it's big drills, foundries, that steam recipe, but that's not really a big deal because I'm not planning on doing that anywhere else. Um, that's not a thing you make, but just a special recipe. So basically it is just the foundries and drills and then turbos. So we're gonna have to make a lot of turbo belts here to ship all over the planet, all over the universe. Galaxy, all over the galaxy, that's the word we want. All right, so I need 2.5 roughly. So this actually is enough if I just had enough um, I'm gonna call it. It's probably not enough to make all my turbo belts too, but it's at least something. And then we'll have that meet with the tungsten carbide belt. In tungsten carbide, we need 3 to 2. So if I need 2.5, we need about 3.75 of the carbide, which we have enough of as well. That would need 3.75 carbon, which I actually have. So I think we're okay on everything once we have enough tungsten ore. Um, right now it's just the tungsten ore itself, that's the problem. But we'll get some higher quality on the drills that are collecting the tungsten ore and that problem will disappear. Plus speed beacons. <laughs> Ramming nests with the tank is real effective with shields. That might be true in the early game, but the nests having the increased health uh, starts to have a pretty big impact uh, quite quickly. So I don't actually think that strategy is going to last you very long. Yay! Orange science! Look at it! It's so cool! Um... Yeah, we'll just put that in some provider chests, and we're doing it. Metallurgic science pack. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And our first order of business is more tungsten. Another annoying... I, I have a lot of complaints about the Electric Network info panels. I actually think there's a lot of different elements of information that at various times you as the player would like to have that this cannot provide you. One of them is the question, have I completely met my Power Network's demands constantly over the last 10 minutes? There's no, there's no way to see the history of satisfaction. Has it been fully green constantly for the last 10 minutes? There's really no way for me to know that, uh, looking at this information. Which feels really weird that you can't discover that. Um, I don't know, that, that feels off to me. But you actually have to sit here and watch I have to watch. Nope, see, there we didn't have enough for a moment. Okay. It's pretty close though. So, I can probably build just another couple sets of these panels. Because the issue is that the accumulators themselves don't have enough um, discharge rate. So I actually just need another chunk of accumulators. Vulcan is certainly seems faster than Fulgora. I think so. Please remember, everyone watching, uh, I got sucked into the quality rabbit hole pretty hard on Fulgora. If we had skipped over that, we would have gotten a lot done a lot faster. A lot more done a lot faster. So I certainly was not taking any sort of optimal route on Fulgora, nor was I trying to get it done as quickly as possible. 
No, I literally can't. That'll just mine it straight into the lava. Um, oh, right, but that is lava, so I can't... I can't even underground right there. Wait, what? There's lava right there, too? Wait, where's the lava? Oh, there's a piece of lava right behind... Okay, that's annoying. Um, how about over here? There's that, a little bit more, or, and then, I should leave a space of three for beacons at some point. Here, let's, let's get one beacon in here. I know we have at least a few more speed modules, so that should help a bit. 117%. That's so crazy. One beacon here is is doubling six drills because of this new, like, beacon effectivity scaling. Like, the first beacon is so strong now. I love it. I love it. All right. Um, why don't I get bot coverage down here? Because that seems nice. And then the bots can go build the drill. You're not using up shells if you can avoid it. Yeah, Joshua, it didn't, I ended up need, needing a lot of tank shells <laughs> to uh, clear out the biters we had going on. Should be requesting. is the problem with green circuits exactly. Is it still co uh, it's copper? Copper cable? Do we not have enough bots? We have enough bots. It seems we're not making enough copper cable. And that is just a rate thing. 12 a second is not enough. I guess those each need nine a second, so that does add up. Let's speed things up here. That's 27.8 a second. <laughs> is that enough for you? Jeez, this is so absurd. So much. And then we have all this stone that's just like going straight into the dump. It's so weird. It's so weird. I love it. I love it. All right, how many packs are we actually getting? Are we getting enough yet? I don't know if we have enough uh, carbide. I guess the carbide's building up. We'll let it build up to there. Once that's done, I think we'll actually have enough uh, carbide. Might as well get a little bit of productivity here. Um, and then here. Four carbon a second should be fast enough. It would be kind of nice to fit, like, one beacon. We certainly need more module production. Does that mean more red circuits? What are we what are we out of? It looks like we're out of speed ones. But that's because we're out of red circuits. So yeah, red circuits are currently the hang-up. So 
let's get a little bit more red circuit automation going here. Probably should have a beacon on those at some point. Help out. Problem is I don't have any speed modules. <laughs> Let's have these controlled the same way. With red circuit, less than a thousand. And we'll remove the chest limits. Yeah, Joshua, quality in um, equipment is such a huge difference. It really. You know, most games, when you upgrade stuff, it's not giving you a 30% boost for one level up. Like, it's actually pretty crazy how much of a boost you get. Also, I really need to redo this blueprint because it only requests four items instead of five. <laughs> and so, for things like oil refineries, I'm in trouble. Um, I wonder what in, is there anything that needs more than six or would six be enough? to parameterize six things. I'm curious if anything needs more than, that needs five. Anything need more than five solids? Anything needs six? I don't know. Okay. So that should be enough red circuits. Uh, what was... Is there anything else that's even spending red circuits? Oh, the robo ports are spending a lot of red circuits. So that's part of it. And then obviously these modules. But nothing else is spending red circuits, I don't think. Oh, the big drills also. Um, all right, so we've got a good amount of foundries now. We're going to want uncommon foundries, but we're going to need to do quality modules and quality loops for all that nonsense. So that's a whole mess. Uh, the Hendrickson is full of science now. Perfect. So, and we're going to want to bring, let's bring some more these things and I actually want to increase the limit on these things I know that's a lot of holmium but it's something we need on this the export that we need from this planet so it makes sense it seems that uncommon copper cable is becoming an issue Now here's a question. Do I even need... At least for now, should I de-quality my scrap? Because are we making anything of consistent quality here? I don't think we are. So at least for now, until we revisit, I actually think I want to remove all the modules from these. Um, Cause that's actually just making things harder on myself. Why didn't that work? Copy, paste. Oh, are you kidding me? It doesn't paste that it has no modules? How are you supposed to remove... Are you telling me I have to make an upgrade planner specifically for this? Does this even work with an upgrade planner? Do it. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, but then what am I going to do with all those uncommon green circuits? So the problem, the reason I, I said this is like right now, there's nothing that's requiring me to make these higher quality ingredients right now. So having quality on all my scrap recycling is just making things worse. Uh, there's really no point to it. When I go back and maybe I make a, an export of something else of higher quality, then it'll be problematic. But we can just reinstate the quality at that point in the scrap recyclers. Yeah, and like rolling equipment over and over sounds great, but then you have to remember that you would have to have all of the ingredients being made in the same ratio, which scrap recycling doesn't do. Scrap recycling is good for getting a lot of random stuff, but it's not good for like, if I wanted to roll exoskeletons over and over, you're not inherently going to get the right amounts of things for exoskeletons. You might get not enough steel. Well, you'll probably get too much steel, not enough processing units, and you don't even get electric engine units, right? So then you have to separately make electric engine units at the same quality. You just start to get into all kinds of crazy ratios and nothing really works out. Quality is awesome, but it's also a mess. And so you really have to look out for... Oh, we're not making that last. We're not? We're really not getting enough petroleum. Okay. So we need a lot more coal liquefaction, eh? site I always think this looks like ore I think they made the it, it looks cool don't get me wrong but I think it looks too much like ore to the point where it's actually confusing like oh look ore we should be mining oh wait no not ore there is no sulfur ore <laughs> um that's not a thing all right and then we need the sulfuric acid on the But, yeah. How did I get to a map hitting control C? What, what did I press? Hmm. I'm actually not sure. more of an effect than those two modules would in the buildings. Yeah, not... Roboport's not having a supply area, I think, is a very intentional design decision that they made just to prevent quality from mattering too much. That's my theory. Yeah... I figured there'd be some pollution because we're sending a lot of rockets now to make the, uh...
Um, I just want to see my my constant draw of laser turrets. It's about 14 megawatts. Um, the Derpamu is slowly coming together, but that requires a lot of rockets. Available on planet seven. Okay, so we're actually completely out of uh, space platform here. And that's because we're out of steel. And that's because we're not getting a full iron belt. And that's because I prioritized this differently multiple times. I'm gonna go priority left on that to make sure we actually get enough steel for once. But I have enough iron for more than one belt. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Why? Oh, oh. Ah, we see the problem. Okay, because that steel smelting was plenty of steel, but it dead because of that not being connected anymore when I redid this to be power based accumulator power based I see okay and then but then on top of that we really should be uh, factoring this in too so that can help priority left 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 Do you know if there's a way to transmit signals from a planet to a platform in another planet's orbit? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's not. I don't even know if there's a way to transmit a signal from a planet to a platform above that planet. So, I doubly don't think that that's possible. Then again, there's a lot that I don't know, and I'd be willing to believe something I'm missing. But yeah, let's go get some big drills up here mining the coal. I'll make things a little easier. Get rid of all this. And then we're gonna need like what two mining drills? This is so crazy. Look at that. That's just from six drills. With no quality, no nothing. The main reason I'm doing it, because regular drills were fine actually, it's just because I want to deplete the patch slower. So. Uh, I don't think radars on a platform would work. I'm not actually sure about that, though. Okay, what's going on? Oh, we're just still not making enough. Not making enough of these. Not making enough red circuits. Have enough green circuits. And I do have enough plastic. Do I actually have enough of everything? Yeah, so we just need more red circuit. Maybe we just need more of these. We need a speed. A speedy beacon here. That one, that one module is doing a lot of work, but I need more modules. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the big drills actually drain a patch faster. Yes, but it's not like you magically consume more resources just because you're mining more. So yeah, when you're consuming at a fixed rate, it doesn't. It doesn't. It it will last twice as long. Um so yeah, petroleum is still the issue. Because of my not enough heavy oil production. And these are places where prod modules will, will make a lot of sense. Cool. But we're getting we're getting uh science still? No. No. Uh, I broke ah shoot. I thought we reconnected things properly. I broke the sulfuric connection right. Um, there we go. Okay. So that should be way more than I need of that stuff. More than I need of carbon. Can I be doing other things with carbon? Not really. I could send it up to the space platform. You can make more coal with carbon, but that certainly doesn't seem that useful when I can make carbon with coal. That's kind of backwards. Yeah, and all those speed modules are going to making assembling machines for now. I'm still a little confused how we're using up this many red circuits, but I guess I'm just not making that many red circuits. Let's copy this. Alright, let's get an actual proper bot mall setup going that uses... Maybe it won't even be a bot mall. Maybe we'll use belts at some point to save ourselves some bots. But for now, we'll keep it a bot mall. That's lined up next to a bunch of beacons. Okay. I'm hoping that's enough production for the red circuits. 0.66 greens, 0.66 plastic, and 1.33 cable. Everything does use a lot of red chips. Uh, Dave, can you see the power graph of your space platform? Yes, it's, you have to click on the hub and then there's a little show electric network button. It's not easy to find. I only knew about it because someone pointed it out when I was playing. Uh, how's the derp move coming along? It's kind of not. Yeah, the space platform foundations are certainly causing problems. Okay, at least now we're seeing more of them. Yeah, building a new space, uh, bleh, space platform? Space platform costs a lot of steel. So getting foundries back to Navis will be a welcome addition. Would it be worth it to use nuclear power? Um, maybe. I'm not actually sure. The problem is the ice and the water. Uh, I know they've buffed water, but you still need a decent amount of water to run nuclear. But I could see, I could see setting it up being worth it if you can get enough ice. I just don't know about the ice numbers. 
Okay, so we need to set up blue belt production here on the planet as well. Um... Probably want to set that up near the lubricant for now. So let's see, let's kind of think about this. So we'll do one, two, And then we'll direct feed red, 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 and then we'll do blue. Excuse me. Uh, and then I can remove these guys. I think this will work. Sometimes I skip a step or two. Seems to be producing things effectively. Okay, there goes my iron for a while. Um, can you send barreled liquids into space? Yes, you can. But a rocket of water barrels is not very much. Uh, a, ro a rocket can only hold a hundred barrels of water, which is 5,000 water, which is 50,000 steam of high temp, which is only about five gigajoules. So five gigajoules in one rocket. Yeah, that's not very much. Considering solar power works constantly, it's it's hard to hard to not do solar. Now, obviously, you need another solution when you're going towards Aquilo. So that's when you might need nuclear or or probably burning the carbon. But maybe nuclear is worth it just because you get more from the steam. So I don't know. These are, these are things we will solve in future episodes. <laughs> Alor, I'm almost certain it will only give you a chance to upgrade the one bonus. Just like productivity only applies to the one bonus, but I couldn't tell you for certain. Well, you unlock fusion power on Aquilo, but to get to Aquilo, you need power for your space platform and solar power in s oh never mind okay solar power in space is still 60 percent all the way to aquilo so you're not gonna have to do anything crazy to keep powering your space platform but solar power on the planet itself is only one percent which is garbage and gleba is half solar power um a little bit less power in space you can only make steam from sulfuric acid on Vulcanus. That's a that's a thing you can only do on this planet. Presumably because of the extremely high pressure. Now, what are we what are we doing here? So I already have 2000 metallurgic packs. Nice. Seems like I'm not getting enough per minute. Why, 
right, why am I getting less than my two per second that I have tried to automate? I'm out of copper? Why am I out of molten copper? I can't get rid of the stone fast enough. Aha. We need turbo belts, turbo stacking. Um, it's because I only have one bulk inserter trashing all this. <laughs> this should help problems. There we go. That should do it. Now that's still only 45 stone a second, is that enough? I might need to think about the side of the belt we're on. I think we might be okay. This one's gonna need another though. Uh, of course there's a cliff right there. There's a cliff right there. Alright, um. Why don't we just go like this? Okay, that should keep things rolling then. Science pack. There's two a second. Okay. Can you grab ice from orbit? Yes. Yeah, so you can get free water delivery, assuming that the the place you're above has... Well, you can recycle any asteroid into any other asteroid after Vulcanus. So, I, yeah, that should work, assuming you're getting asteroids. I assume you get asteroids above each type of planet. Um, but it's always possible you don't. Let's... No, you do. You're, you're getting... Actually, you get a lot of big oxide asteroids um, as you're going to Aquilo. So you actually can get a lot of water from that. Um... We'll deal with that bridge when we come to it. I think I just saw that the big asteroids have an absurd physical resistance. <laughs> so that means we're gonna need uh, rockets. Rocket turrets are a necessity, it seems. Okay, what are we waiting for here? More modules? I'm out of gears. Probably because of blue belts, if I had to guess. Um. Yeah, six gears a second is a lot, but it's still not enough. Uh, logistics. Let's request speed ones, because I think that'll help us get off the ground. I also need to make beacons. Let's get beacons going. There. What else can we make in these? Also copper cable. Interesting. There's two different ways to make copper cable. You can do the EMP route or you can do... So wait, would it be better to make copper plates and then make the cable in the EMP? No, that's still worse than just using the foundry, I think. But that is interesting. Legendary nuclear factory in space. Well, the only thing the nuclear plant does better is it just generates more power um, from the same, or like it uses the fuel faster too. It just produces more in the same footprint. So, it it's not like it becomes more efficient or anything. It's just more space efficient than, than anything else. Now, plastic is the problem again. So, let's start with boosting prod of plastic.
and speed it up a little bit. So there's an extra 12%. And then we can boost the prod of these two steps. But I have to move this forward by one tile. Um, and then power that up. And then a beacon here should have a big impact. We'll get 21% prod there. I'm using up. I want to save those for the rocket silo when we make that. At least for now. Okay, what is happening? Why are they not... Are you guys seeing this? What's What's going on here? They're like delivering it and then they're undelivering it. Do I have an auto trash set somewhere? What's going on? Am I encountering a bug? What just happened? They were bringing me speed modules, but then they were failing to deliver it. That was weird. Uh, did I break plastic now? What did I do? Oh, right, I, like, forgot to rehook up the, the oil. And everything. I got distracted by whatever that was. Alright. Um, flush that. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened with those speed modules. Dave, you have requester chests! Woohoo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Legendary water barrels? Yeah, that doesn't do anything. As far as I know... Um, barreling, actually wait, I don't know about barreling and quality. I don't know if you can select the rarity or quality. So you can certainly make rare barrels. It seems that you can make rare barrels of a fluid, but then when you unbarrel it, it will just go back to to making the the rare barrel because there are no rare fluids. So that's just a way to preserve the rarity of your barrel. Interesting. Okay, there we go. So now we can go a little faster on all these. And then I'll need broad ones, I guess. That's making about 60 petroleum a second. These can use a lot more than that. Okay. So we're making about six plastic a second. He thinks. Yeah, a little bit more even. It's more like seven a second. And we were making a little over two. So we've drastically improved plastic production, but it still needs more help. Um, the way that we can help it would be probably... Well, not running out of power will help. Not running out of power. Get some more of these steam engines. I still can't believe how cheap this is. Uh, 
more steam engines. Oh, I don't want to handcraft that many gears. No, thank you. Oh, we're an hour into this episode already. I can't believe it. I just feel like there's so much to get done. We still have to do so much. But we've got... We've got the science automated, so I can come grab a bunch now. Yeah, and we should. So the Hendrickson, unfortunately, has too much pink science now. How did we end up with this many cargo bays? When I only had 10 requested. A bit odd, don't you think? Don't you think? Don't you think? Um, I'm just gonna send those down to Fulgora. And then... I mean, this thing's ready to go to Gleba at this point, um, but we're not gonna go to Gleba. We're gonna go home. Now this. And then that should unload all the electromagnetic science. And then we'll go to Vulcanus. Derpamu's not ready for prime time yet, though it's getting there. Piece by piece. Mainly requiring an absurd amount of space platform foundation. You know what? I could automate that here with foundries. Uh, in fact, is there a recipe for it? I could see space platform foundation having a special recipe. Uh, no, just the one recipe. But steel and copper are pretty free here. So it almost would be better to make an absurd amount of space platform foundation on Vulcanus for making space platforms because there's just so much of it here. Is this too much? Um, like in terms of steam. These are each 60. This makes 2,000. And 20. I can handle 30. That's only 18. So yeah, we're fine. I only need 0.2 calcite per second for that. I do need a decent amount of sulfuric acid. Um... I actually don't know if all of these put together. Is this enough? How many pump jacks? I have 11 pump jacks right now, and they're all producing 20 to 30. So I think we're okay. okay. 18 of those be able to handle enough. Okay, so here's nighttime. Okay. We barely even dipped into our accumulators now. Alright, we're good. Good on power. And it seems like... Plastic and gears are the issue right now. Uh, blue belts are certainly to blame for the gear problem. And I have almost 4,000 metallurgic packs. Sweet! Okay, well, I do think we'll probably call it a recording here. Take a nice little screenshot. Surrounded by orange science. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, well, for those of you on YouTube, as always, thank you guys for watching. And I don't mean YouTube Live, I mean future YouTube.
because I'm going to keep streaming. Uh, but as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode.